Hey, what's up, y'all? So, um, this channel, I don't know why I'm going with this channel, but I'm going to just do whatever I want to share. So, it's going to be like story times, hair, well, my hair journey, and uh, vlogs, and now, learning Korean. So, I've been studying Korean for about two months now, and I made a mistake of not learning the grammar after I learned, um, I learned Hangul. So, now I'm catching up. I know quite a few words, but I can't put any of them in a sentence. So, now I'm learning all the, um... The verbs. I know a lot of um, objects like a TV, television, hint upon, uh, 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 bay. I think that's ship. I learned that yesterday and it means pair. Bay. No, no. Bay. Yeah, bay. So, and I only know like two complete thoughts that like if I say this to a Korean person they would know what I'm saying or get the gist of what I'm saying it's a uh, um soyo and uh bagupe yeah those are the only two I know that I can talk to a Korean person and they know what I'm talking about but, um, I've been using, uh, when I started, I just learned Hangul off a YouTube video, and then I started learning vocabulary right off the bat. I didn't learn about, um, I just finished learning about, uh, what is it called? Uh, Bakjim. Yeah, Bakjim. And how the... Um, the ending consonant changes depending on like which which ending consonant sound like they sound alike like a group of them end of them when they had the end of a word it sound like a T like all that that's a, that was a little that was a little hard to remember but um now I need to learn the grammar. And, uh, first of all, let me start, I forgot to say, um, why I want to learn Korean, uh, because of basically this song right here. Think you got me? Okay. Yeah. That song right there. So I really want to know what it's saying i'm not gonna look up the lyrics until i learn korean i was tempted to but i want to learn korean so i can actually sing it along with them and understand what they're saying at least understand what they're saying because they talk fast but today i listened to it again today i haven't listened to it in like a couple weeks but I found, finally, I was listening to it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I know one word, finally, because I didn't know any words. I don't know what those, basically what is in English, because I speak English, but they said Korean in there. They said Hanguk, Hanguk, Hanguko, or, yeah, they said Hanguko, so... I was so like, I was like, bitch. I had to tell my brother. I was like, oh my God. I like, I was like, God damn, like, God damn. 
I was so happy. But, yeah, I mean, what else? I'm learning from Talk To Me Korean and 90 Day Korean uh, and YouTube, basically. And this is the only, uh, basically, this only language that I've stuck to for this long. I was learning Spanish in high school, but I didn't want to learn it because I was forced to, because you have to take a foreign language. And all they had was Spanish. So it was like, you either take Spanish or you don't graduate. I would like to, to, to take a... Uh, anything other than Spanish because I wasn't interested in Spanish but I do want to learn Spanish way down the road but I want to learn obviously Korean uh, then I want to learn either Japanese or um, Spanish but those like way down the road so I also want to learn American Sign Language and I want to do an ancestry um, DNA thing where you send in, you swab your mouth and then you send it off and they tell you where you're from. And I want to know what, um, where I'm from out of Africa and if it's like Ghana. What well, I really don't know many Nigeria, wherever, wherever. If they speak a certain language, I'm gonna learn that. I want to try to. So yeah, that's that's about it. This all and this the uh, this the only language that I've been loyal to. Cause Spanish didn't work out. I tried to learn um, Italian. That didn't work out. I think I tried to learn German. That didn't work out. Cause I wasn't interested in the culture. So so yeah. Um, if you guys got any tips for me t or um, tips on pronunciation, um, and it's kind of hard for me to pronounce a lot of these stuff. I feel like from the um, from a like a Midwest person or uh, or a person from like California or something, because a Southern accent. That ain't, that's, it's already like, people can already tell you from the South because how you speak, but I feel like the twang to our voice makes it a little, a little harder than the average American or, or a person from New York or from Baltimore. I feel like the South, the Southern people. And uh, New Yorkers, people from Baltimore, those kind of accents, I feel like have the hardest, will have the hardest learning a, a um, language like Korean or Japanese uh, or Chinese. Maybe not Chinese. Maybe not Chinese, but Japanese for real. Um, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's all I want to talk about. So, yeah, peace out.